Hey guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do a video on beginner drugstore makeup essentials. A few products that I recommend for people that are just starting to use makeup, or even if you don't, you're already using makeup, some products I recommend. So, first off, when you are starting to wear makeup, you kind of want to take baby steps towards a full face of makeup just because you want to get used to wearing makeup, practicing, and making sure that you don't put too much on because that's a mistake a lot of beginners make is putting a lot of makeup on because they don't realize like how unnatural it can look so you kind of want to practice to get used to it and learn what looks better on you and what you can do and what you should learn how to do before you really go out there with a full face of makeup yeah i hope it's helpful and keep watching so the first product is foundation slash tinted moisturizer slash BB cream. So I have the Rimmel BB cream here and BB creams, CC creams, and tinted moisturizers are basically just the same thing. They're kind of made for light coverage which is perfect if you've never worn makeup before and there's not a lot of imperfections you want to cover. It's just kind of to even out your skin tone and you don't want to get liquid foundation if you already have decent skin or if you're not used to wearing it. So I advise like a BB or tinted moisturizer. And if not, you can get a liquid foundation or a powder foundation. I actually like this one here. I've gone through a couple bottles of these. This is the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Foundation for normal slash dry skin. And they also have oily combination skin. You can use your fingers to apply or use a brush or a beauty sponge. And that's all based on whatever you prefer. I prefer my fingers actually just because it warms the product up and it's a lot easier to blend out. And it's free. So um, that's totally up to you. I've always used my fingers and it works just fine. A tip with any face makeup is to make sure that you blend the sides of your face, especially on your jawline. A lot of times I see girls that have just like their, when they put on their foundation, they kind of just go like that and they end it there and they have this kind of space with uncovered skin and you can tell where the makeup stopped. So uh, make sure that you do blend it out just so that you don't have that problem there. And also it's better to go light as far as what shade you get than dark because when you get a lighter shade you can always darken it up just a little bit with some bronzer whereas if you go dark to begin with it's just hard to kind of go back. So after you've applied your foundation or your BB cream a lot of people like to use a setting powder. This here is the Revlon Nearly Naked Press Powder. And another good product for this type of thing is the Rimmel Stay Matte. A lot of people rave about that. And it's just to set your makeup after you've applied it to just make sure that it doesn't get shiny and it just lasts throughout the whole entire day. So next is a concealer. There are different types of concealers. There's liquid, there's crayon, there's stick, and the list goes on. But this one here does a pretty good job of under eye circles and just the, you know, typical pimples and imperfections. And as far as makeup brushes, you don't need that many, especially if you're just starting. Once you start using more products, you might want to expand your collection of makeup brushes. But the typical just standard set would probably be a foundation brush or a bronzer brush. So something like this. And then some eyeshadow brushes. Right here I have a blending brush, a highlighting or a lid color brush and then a lid or a crease brush, and then an actual crease brush. And all these brushes here are by EcoTools, and they're, you can buy them off of Amazon or Walmart, and they're super affordable. And also another good brand of brushes is e.l.f., which is even cheaper. So if you can get your hands on either one, that'd be a great deal. When you buy eyeshadows, you want to stick to neutral colors. So get some browns and some matte and shimmer. So there's a combination of different varieties. And um, don't get ones that are super vibrant and colorful right now just because it's harder to make that work. So once you start getting used to applying eyeshadow, then you kind of experiment with more bold colors. But just some browns and grays and cream colors will do. And then next you might want to um, use mascara. I recommend the Colossal Volume Express in Waterproof. The reason why I say waterproof is just because when it's not waterproof, so much more can go wrong. If you were to cry that day or if some day it might be raining and you you get mascara all over your face. So waterproof is just a better way to make sure that your mascara stays on throughout the day. It is hard to get off, but um, you know, makeup remover and makeup wipes will do the job as far as getting it off. But this one here, I've gone through about four bottles. I find that it does a lot of justice for my lashes. So any, um, there's a lot of affordable mascaras from Maybelline if you want to check out which might be best for your eyelashes. 
So you can apply eyeliner whether you want a cat eye or just to simply line it or just to simply maybe like line your waterline. I like doing the cat eye and a great one for that is this here 12 hour infallible the super slim liquid eyeliner by L'Oreal. And it's basically just a felt tip pen and I like this because it's super precise and it's easy to use and also it's super pigmented and the color payoff is great and it doesn't smudge, it lasts throughout the day so I de definitely re recommend that and if not you can always try out some liquid eyeliners, cream eyeliners and pencil eyeliners to see which might work best for you and what you might want to try working with. A great product for your lashes before you use mascara is an eyelash curler. This one here is not um, from the drugstore, but you can get any eyelash curler from the drugstore to just curl them before you apply mascara. And even if you don't want our mascara, just curling your lashes by themselves just adds a little bit to your lashes without having any makeup product on at all. Next here is a eyebrow product. It is by Milani, and it's just one end. There's a kind of a mascara-ish brush just to brush through your eyebrows before you um, before you fill them and it comes with this here it's kind of a pencil and this is totally optional usually like eyebrows are super important but if you don't think you need to fill in your eyebrows then you shouldn't you know unless you really want to try it out and there's different shades and stuff according to your hair color. So eyebrows are, you want to be careful with because your eyebrows do make a big difference. But you don't want them to be crazy dark or crazy whatever just because you want people to be drawn to your eyes, not necessarily your eyebrows. But that's just something maybe you want to experiment with eventually if you haven't. And next product is a bronzer and or blush. I have the Milani Baked Blush and the Fit Me... Maybelline blush here and it's just some um, pops of color you want to put on on your face to maybe add a little bit of warmth or add a little bit of rosiness to your cheeks and make sure that you don't overdo it because that's a problem that I even have sometimes is realizing that I put a lot more on than I need so you know less is more as they say you don't want to put too much on but it just adds a little bit of warmth to your face that just makes you look more awake and lively. My last product is a lip product. I personally love the baby lips. I got a whole bunch just recently, but it's just a great little pop of color as well to tie your look together. If you want me to do a makeup look featuring all of these products I got, I can do that. Or if there's certain uh, techniques of makeup you want to learn how to do, or some reviews of products I have right here in the video, be sure to suggest in the comments below because I do read them. And yeah, I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching. Bye guys. It's an experiment with which worked best for you. Um, if you want me to do a makeup look featuring all of these products I got, I can do that. Or if there's certain uh, techniques of makeup you want to learn how to do or some reviews of products I have right here in the video, be sure to suggest in the comments below because I do read them. And yeah, I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching. Bye guys. It's an experiment with which worked best for you. Um, if you want me to do a makeup look featuring all of these products I got, I can do that. Or if there's certain uh, techniques of makeup you want to learn how to do, or some reviews of products I have right here in the video, be sure to suggest in the comments below because I do read them. And yeah, I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching. Bye guys.